Honestly. That's ridiculous, like how you have to know that. You call yourself British? I had met with Harry Jaggard in Dhaka and we decided to check out the more modern side of the city. On this day, we went to the Jamuna Future Park to see what entertainment it had to offer. I'm in my way from having no more space in my bag. So. Oh, Carrie, I'm not going to buy anything because if I do, I, I, I'm just going to not stop. I'm not going to buy anything here, Carrie. Can you see him in there? Can you see him in there? He's buying clothes. It's a hundred percent buying clothes. It's meant to be women that take ages in shops, but I think Harry's taking ages. <laughs> We're just going to sit and wait, aren't we, Armit? Armit's humming. <sighs> Is he coming out? Is he coming out? No. Yes. Going to get three or four pieces. Let's go and have a look. Wait a minute. Sneaky look. Sneaky look. <laughs> Look, he's shaking his head. <laughs> trying to see what he's bought. It actually looks like he's bought pants. I thought he was buying shirts. I think he might be buying pants. Anyway, they're going into a posh bag. Look. <sighs> Deary me. It's like a nice, it's like a huge shot. I have to say, really big. Oh. Don't worry, that's not Armit crying. So, um, I thought I, I wasn't going to do any shopping. Yeah, yeah. So come on then. What, what did we get? Did you buy? I got, wait, I, I thought it looked like pants. Yeah, there was pants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And some Calvin Klein pants and Calvin Klein. I got four Ralph Lauren shirts. They're for my family, though. They're, they're but Christmas present. I bet there's no for you. opportunity where I'm going to see them for this price, and they're good quality. No, so they're they're real. So you got the pants, and you got all Ralph Lauren uh, shirts. shirts for all for family members, or one for you? No, like half for family members, half for me. <laughs> One family. <laughs> we'll see. Twins when I get home. It's amazing. I'm gonna have to buy a new suitcase. Fine. Yeah. Well, you know what? If you see a suitcase shop, then yep. that would be great because actually I fly home tomorrow, and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I can't fit it in. I've actually tried sitting on my suitcase. So now I'm at the point where I have to decide whether to leave something behind. I might leave myself behind. Send everything else home. I may not have bought a lot in the mall, but I had bought quite a lot during my tour of Bangladesh. My found suitcase. Well, there's a bag shop. Let's see if they do cases. Look, there's bags, bags and shoes, bags and shoes. Oh, they have got cases. Oh, look, they've got quite big ones. But are they big? Are they bigger than the one I've already got? We discovered the friendly staff at Dream X World. So I've bought too many things in Bangladesh. You have too many nice things. I have too many shawar kameezes. And I fly home to London tomorrow and I can't close my suitcase. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Sorry. Nazmul Islam. These are the biggest ones. That one there. Can I just see? see my, suit, my suitcase is, all, is almost broken. That does look pretty decent and it's solid as well. Harry, I found a suitcase. So it's really big though. Oh. Is he going to put you in it? <laughs> I think I might fit. I mean, that is big, isn't it? I could get a lot of shalwar kameezes in that. Oh, hello. Look at this one. The next one, 25 Oh, that's brilliant. Look, it expands as well. Oh. I reckon I could fit. Go on then. Brilliant. Nazar Islam gave me a technical walk around of my new suitcase and then decided to talk cricket. Luckily, Harry was there. I like yeah. English cricketer, Offal Villa likes Josh Butler, oh, Josh Butler. Uh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Who? Test cricketer. Test cricket. Cook, like Alistair Cook. Yeah, Alistair Cook. is my favorite. Test cricket what? And, and Bola. Anderson. James Anderson is my favorite. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah mine too. Abs absolutely mine too. Wood is my favorite. Mark Wood. Mark Wood. Wood. Ah. Yeah, he's very good. Who's your favorite? Josh Butler. Oh, yeah, great choice. Look. 360 degree. Yeah? Yeah. yeah. Exactly what we're saying. I've got absolutely no idea. 360 degree. No, 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 360 degree. Like, <laughs> I'm definitely happy with this. This, this looks perfect for me. Quick plug, quick plug. Yeah. Sponsored by Dream Sponsored by Dream X World. Dream X World. Okay. We're going to go bowling. Yeah, we've got to go, boss. Well, we're going to go up. You want to come bowling? Yeah, do you want to, why don't you come bowling? Bowling. Liverpool. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Come. Liverpool. You why don't you come with us? 
You come. Come on, come on, play. <laughs> Shut the shop. There's no one here. It's fine. You've done your sale for today. He's coming. Come on, let's go. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> With a successful purchase in the can, we headed for the bowling lanes. Ooh, they've got karaoke as well. I would love, I, I would actually pay to hear you sing. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In we go, in we go. I haven't been bowling in years. Our friends Armit and Nazrul Islam quickly said they didn't want to play, so the competition was now between me and Harry. He may be a YouTube maestro, but is he a maestro on the bowling alley? Just go. Okay, ladies first. Oh, I damaged my nails. I was getting ready to start strong. Oh, no, uh, that's oh. Okay, the bar has been set fairly low. First of all, I go national England champion, so first of all you just gotta stretch. Here he goes, here he goes. I don't think there is a bar anymore. There's no bar. No bar. Basically, I wanted to give you a chance. Right, got you. Okay, let's let's go then again. Okay. Oh, we've got beat Harry, haven't we? It's a bit heavy. Hang on. It was time to pull myself together. <clears throat> One handed. Here we go. Ready? Come on. A bit more welly, I think. Oh yes! Oh yes! Oh! Look at that! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What's he gonna do? What's he gonna do? <laughs> In a bid to win, Harry was playing dirty tactics. Harry is cheating now. I had to work extra hard because I refused to cheat. But he did not stop. <laughs> oh! I would have died if that got strike. <laughs> Oh, that's a banger. Sniffing advancing failure, Harry called on Nazrul Islam to help him. This is for me, so you better get in a strike. No pressure. Oh! I think stick to the cricket and those 360 moves. Even with his appalling track record, Harry did not hold back with offering advice. Do you actually know what you're talking about? Well... I would say, clearly, not. Well, I need to end this. I need to end the Jaggard. I don't want to talk about it. Right, tell me the final scores. I can't read that actually. My eye. I think the TV's broken. <laughs> Harry is the winner. Congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> <I'm being embarrassed. laughs> It was time to say goodbye to our newfound friend and start thinking about food. Okay, seeing as you're the loser, I'll well, give you a little bit of a lift by allowing you to choose where well, you want to eat. What I want, yeah. What we should have is different. I think it's fine to go with whatever you want here. I think the food decision is actually harder than bowling. There's so much choice here; it's difficult to decide. Iron Chef, Mr. Biryani House. Drumstick, Indian Spicy, wonder if they like their chilli. KFC, recognise that brand, Burger King. After a head-spinning list, Harry settled with firm favourite, KFC. <sighs> Lovely. What's your, what's your favourite? Good question. The burger meal. What would you like, Armit? Do you want the burger meal as well? The chicken burger meal? Three chicken burger meals were ordered. Thank you. This is my first burger since being here. He's happy, look. That is good. Yeah? Very good. Do you feel like you're cheating a little bit? Sometimes I feel like I'm cheating if I have a burger and I go abroad. Yeah. But... But they love it here as well. They do. It's big. It's big. It's big. Yeah. Can't really be a burger, can you? I'm not going to include shots of me stuffing my face with a burger. So, here we are now in a coffee shop where Harry found a rather interesting book. The British Citizen Test for Dummies. Now, seeing as we're both British, we should get a star, 100%. We should. So, Harry, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Are you ready for your first question? No. <laughs> when did British women First, get the right to vote. Oh! Was it A? I studied this in history. 1908, B? 1918, C? 1928, or D? 1938? Oh no! You studied it in history. The, uh, what was the group called? The. 
Suffragettes? Suffragettes, and she ran out into the horse. Oh. 1930 or 1928, one of those two. Or was it even before that? No, it was late. It's gotta be, it's gotta be 1928. Uh-uh. 1918, it? my friend. 1918. Ten years ahead. <laughs> Ready for this one. What was the population of Wales in 2005? Was it A, 1.7 million, B, 2.3 million, C, 2.9 million, or D, 5.2 million? This is the why, why do you British... Why you know this? Briti how British is Harry? First of all... I don't care about whales, so oh, I would God never know. Um, I have to look for the answer myself. Two point, the lower, 2.3. Two point, two point 2.9. Really? Honestly. That's ridiculous, it's like how you have to know that. You call yourself British? <laughs> I'm not Welsh. <laughs> I was just saying to Harry, sometimes I find these big malls a little bit like museums. I find them a little bit, you know, draining after a while. It's time to get out into the uh, Dhaka air. Right, we are done. I've got a suitcase which I need for all my shower camises. I've got my boys and tops and Harry bought far too much. We're done. <laughs>